Now we are going to talk about how we can build a search adaptive card extension for Viva Connection using SharePoint Framework 1.18. I'm Paolo or Pablo, up to you. And today we are going to uh, see how we can extend uh, with the latest release of SharePoint Framework, uh, the Viva Connection dashboard. In fact, Microsoft in version 1.18 introduced a new way of defining the card views uh, in the ACES. And there are the new so-called flexible card views uh, where you can build uh, the UI of a card view uh, based on a set of uh, predefined components. And there are predefined uh, outlines for these card views. So for example, we have the basic card view, the image card view, the search card view, which will be the focus of today, as well as many more. And they introduced a new uh, base type, uh, which is called base components card view that we should inherit from whenever we want to create uh, a card view in an ACE. Uh, focusing our attention on the search card view, that one, is based on a text box and on a button to trigger a search query. And there will be a non change event that we can subscribe to in order to get the notification when the user will click on the search button. And we can get the search query to execute our actual and real search against any kind of back end API or repository that we want to query. And it can be Microsoft, SharePoint REST, any third party APIs. So let's move to the demo and let me show share with you what I have built and what I'm going to share with you as a sample. So first of all, let's start from the sample gallery. Uh, we should all know what the sample gallery is. It's a repository, online repository under adoption.microsoft.com. You can find it under solutions and sample solution gallery. And from here, you can browse a bunch, uh, more than 1,700 samples uh, made by the community for the community. Here you can find also the sample that I'm going to talk about, right here, the search sample gallery ACE. And the idea of this sample is to search for the sample gallery from within, from within the uh, uh, Viva Connection dashboard. So here we can search for something like, I don't know, Teams. I can search for all of the samples with Teams in their description or title, just to make an example. But behind the scene of this sample solution gallery, we actually have a REST API which is available if you like. And there is a search sample endpoint that we can use. And here I can search, for example, for Viva, providing a JSON uh, query, and I can get back uh, the list of samples that I have in the sample gallery. There are 89 so far, all of them talking or covering uh, the Viva topic. So what I've done uh, was to create a, uh, an adaptive card extension based on the search card view template, which is exactly this one that you see on my screen right now. And through this one, I can search the sample gallery using this UI. So I can click on the button and I can get the whole list of results which are related to the team's search query, or I can search for Viva and so on and so forth. Of course, you can play with paging of the results and stuff like that. And by clicking on any of these items, you will be brought to the actual sample. Now, what is really interesting now is how I've built this solution from a developer point of view. So. First of all, let me show you in the uh, uh, common prompt uh, what you can do to create such kind of solution. So Yeoman generator at Microsoft slash SharePoint, uh, just for the sake of speeding up the process, I will skip the install and I will go through the uh, scaffolding tool to provide all of the input arguments to define and scaffold my solution. Uh, let's see if it will show up uh, hopefully promptly. So come on, I want to see the UI of the human generator and I want to provide all of the input arguments to create my solution. Hopefully it will show up. Okay, here it is. So uh, like always, we need to provide a name for our solution and I'm going to create an adaptive card extension. Now that I've uh, selected the adaptive card extension, as you can see, we have a specific template, which is the search card template that I can use to create my search card. I can call it search card because I am a developer and I don't have any kind of fantasy. And the uh, solution is already scaffolded. Of course, I don't have all of the packages, so we will see a bunch of errors in the UI, but I don't care. And here we can see that in the source folder, we have got generated or scaffolded our adaptive card extension for search. What does that mean? Well, the base uh, adaptive card extension is always the same as before if you have been already creating adaptive card extensions uh, previously in your uh, life. 
But what is really interesting is that the card view right here has been built using the new base components card view uh, base type. So it extends that one. And in the card view parameters, we see that we have the definition of the UI of our card view based on a set of components. So we have the card bar, which is the very top area of the card view. We have the header, we have the body, in which we have the search box component type with a bunch of properties. And then we have a footer where we can provide a suggested result for the search query. You can play with it. And that's what I've done in my real sample. So let me switch to the sample gallery search card. Here I have my adaptive card extension. In the uh, on init method of my adaptive card extension, I'm relying on a service that will do the actual search. We will eventually dig into it at the end of this demo, but I don't really care about how I search for samples. I do care about how I create the search UI in the adaptive card extensions. And that's why I want to show you that in my card view for search, which is almost like the one uh, automatically scaffolded by the human generator, I still have my card view parameters uh, method, which will return a nice search card view parameters. But now what I'm doing here is first of all to create a uh, footer for my search card view, which will simply provide a, a predefined uh, suggestion if I don't have anything else to suggest to my user. Then I build the uh, list of the uh, components in my UI, relying on the search box components as like as before. But now I also have the on change event registered for this search box, so that whenever the user will change the content of the text box, I can trigger a get suggested sample method, which will query my API and retrieve a suggestion for the user. Plus, when the user will click on the button to trigger the actual search, the quick view that I have created in my solution that I will show you uh, shortly will actually show up and provide the whole list of results to my end user. So when I type here in the interface a search query, I can see the preview. And we can see that we set the footer as the result of these uh, a search query that I make. And when the user will click on the search button, a quick view will be uh, shown to the user. The quick view is a regular quick view of an adaptive card extension uh, for Viva Connections. And the internally, the um, quick view will rely on uh, some uh, data, which will include, for example, the search results item. So all of the items coming out from the search query. So when we do the get data, in the quick view to get the data source of our data binding for the UI of the uh, quick view, I simply rely on the search samples method that I have again in my adaptive card extension. And as such, I can provide as the data binding source to my quick view, a bunch of useful information, including the search results that I've got from my search query. And as such, in the JSON template of my uh, quick view, I can then render a text box and uh, the information about the number of items retrieved uh, by the search query, as well as a container with a list of items, which will be repeated for every single item in the search results, so that I will have a column set for every single item, and I will show the picture of the author, the title of the samples, and the short description of the sample, as well as uh, by clicking on the uh, column, I will be able to trigger the open URL action and open the actual URL of the sample. So again, I click on the search button, I see the quick view. This is the card view with the search uh, uh, template, and this is the actual quick view with the whole list uh, of the results. And of course, I can search from here as well and trigger a new uh, search query. Just to give you an idea about how it works also under the cover from a, a search API point of view, I simply have a sample service, which I defined as an interface. Then I implemented in a real and actual concrete type, this one, where I can use the service scope pattern for Sharpen framework. And as such, internally, I rely on the HTTP client because the search API is an open API that you can trigger anonymously. And as such, then I have the search 
and the get suggested method, which will simply internally use the invoke search, which will make an HTTP POST request to my search API and providing as the input the JSON of the search query that I showed you before using Swagger. So it is a really simple solution, but thanks to this new and a flexible layout for a search car view, you can easily implement a search box in the dashboard, click on a button and trigger a whole list of results in a quick view. I think that's all for this demo. Let me switch briefly to the slide just to share with you a few URLs. So here again, you can find the sample in the sample gallery. And here you can find a couple of useful links if you want to dig into how you can create your own search cards using SharePoint Framework and the Viva Connection dashboard. I think that's all for me. So back to you, Gary. Thank you.